Thank you, Greg. I appreciate the invitation and the introduction, and I want to thank NFIB for their continued advocacy on behalf of small businesses all across this Commonwealth. It is great to join you this morning. And as a legislator who has been working on the issue of permitting reform for a few sessions, this is the most momentum that I have seen behind this issue. Unfortunately, it took a global pandemic for us to finally see that permitting and licensing delays affect everyone. Today, you're gonna hear from small business champions, the people from Pennsylvania. They're gonna talk to you about our local job creators and the people who are trying to hire Pennsylvanians to fill vacant positions. During the pandemic, I heard from my neighbors, the folks who needed a professional certificate or a license from the state in order to perform their jobs. They were nurses, teachers, doctors, realtors, cosmetologists, barbers, the list is endless. And what was also endless was their wait time to get the certification from the state that they needed. Instead of being able to log in to see where their license was, they'd have to call our district office to get a status update. Sometimes the agency was so overwhelmed, it would take days just to get a reply, just to see where that license was in the process. These people needed their job that day. They couldn't wait for days or weeks to get an answer from their state government. I had several teachers who couldn't get their certificate in time and they ended up leaving to teach in Maryland during the pandemic. I had the same issues with doctors and nurses who were thrown onto the front lines only be, to be told, well, you're gonna have to wait. Maybe you can clean a supply closet while the state gets their act together to issue you your certification. Most recently, I had a friend and a neighbor leave the state because of the challenges with his business to expand here in the Commonwealth. Because in the time that it would take him to get a permit from DEP here in Pennsylvania, he could go from start to finish with a completed building open for business in West Virginia. I think all of these issues created the perfect storm, and it's why we have bipartisan support for such an initiative. Fixing the permitting and licensing processes, it has built a bridge to constituencies and organizations that have not traditionally worked with one another. And why do we see these groups joining forces? It's because it just makes sense. Even Governor Shapiro has stated that he wants to tackle this issue. He's done it, and he's seen the success. Case in point, in case you haven't heard, there was a bridge collapse in Philadelphia along I-95. He helped expedite the permitting process, and that temporary fix was in place within days. The I-95 bridge collapse and rebuild should not be the lone outlier. I have infrastructure projects, home in York County, that have stretched out for years. Why not take some of the things that we have become accustomed to in our everyday lives, like we have with an Amazon order, or maybe a DoorDash delivery, and apply it to permits within state government? Let me be clear, we have a rare and unique opportunity to address this issue now. We have a Democratic governor demonstrating that cutting bureaucratic red tape works. You have Republicans and Democrats in the legislature constantly hearing from constituents about delays with permitting and professional licenses. And here we have a measure to fix it that the Senate approved last year in Senate Bill 350. Every legislator in the General Assembly can probably rattle off horror stories of our constituents who have called us as a last ditch effort to shake a permit or a license loose because their state government was unresponsive. This should not be the norm in state government in 2024. Members with districts that border a neighboring state risk losing jobs, businesses, and their employees that they employ to Maryland or New Jersey or Ohio. 
the time is now to restore the promise of Pennsylvania. We can cut the red tape and we can roll out the red carpet. And again, I want to thank Greg, Melissa, and the NFIB for standing with us every step of the way to implement common sense and bipartisan permitting reform here in Pennsylvania. Our small businesses are the backbone of our economy, and we've seen time and time again that permitting delays can be a backbreaker for too many of our locally owned small businesses. So let's get Senate Bill 350 across that finish line because we cannot afford to wait. Thank you so much.